Hello there everyone. We are back with a uh, repair type video. Um, and speaking of repairs, I uh, gotta cut off repairs again guys for the mail and stuff. Um, I, I got absolutely swamped here the last two weeks so um, yeah as uh, the last few people that got a hold of me know I, I told you guys you know get get in touch with me in a couple of weeks but uh, yeah as of right now nothing nothing more I got enough um, until I get to do this stuff full time so um, anyways so what we have here is a cover 25 and the note here says that um, it's had the MOSFET final installed and it has um, adjustable power installed so um, variable power he said he uh, turned up the power and think it shorted something out it started smoking and then all he could hear was static um, so the gentleman that set the radio up originally has since passed on so um, he asked if I would take a look at it for him and I said sure so let's see what it's doing uh, I'm gonna hook it up to my little um, regulated variable power supply here I could set the current real low on that one so if this thing starts um, trying to overload with having a, a short or an open then we will know about it Yeah, we got a problem. So already, without it even being turned on, let me turn this monitor radio down. So I don't know if you guys saw that. Let me turn this full current up a little bit. But um, yeah, as soon as I plug this in, it already wants to overload. Okay, see what it's doing there? It's tripping. It's tripping my power supply, so I can't even turn this on. Alright, so I'm going to have to open this up and go from there. Alright, we're back. Um, you got a blown final. So you had a 13N10 uh, in there. This is where it came from right here. You can see that's gone. And we'll test it. Short circuit. Okay. So we got to get you a new final, and then we will go through and um, check everything out, make sure everything's looking good. Um, and go from there. I already seen something I don't like on here. Um, just taking a quick look. I do see I do see something already I don't like. Um, this right here. I don't know if you could see that. R55 is cut. So you don't ever do that. So that's going to have to get uh, replaced. And then, looks like the limiter is intact. Um, this right here I don't like. I don't like just uh, glopping a capacitor um, onto your power jack like that. And then, you know, grounding it on the transformer there. Um, yeah, just, uh, just upgrade the cap. That's all you got to do. So I'm going to take that off. I'll take this out and I'll just put in a bigger um, main filter cap there for you. And then also, being that you're running a, um, the MOSFET, you're going to be pulling a little more power. I'm going to switch out this jack here for the better um, power jack, not this junk um, plastic molded one. It'll be the one that has the three metal prongs on the uh, inside. And yeah, I'm not seeing 
anything else uh, too crazy so that's it hey guys all right so we're back we got that uh, final replaced we got everything done here now um, had a bunch of different things going on um, you, you know you kind of didn't know why that final popped and I don't really know why either it could have been a couple different things but um, I did notice you had an issue with your your variable on your RF gain it was um, the more I used it and played around with it it got more and more intermittent so um, what I ended up having to do is I had to switch your variable onto your delta tune um, for whatever reason I put it on here and it works fine so it's nice and smooth um, and you actually have a center detent in here so you'll be able to always know where you're at um, as far as uh, I'll show you where, where that lies on the watt meter for center but yeah um, did your power jack back here um, here's the here's the old one okay um, got that installed got a big heavy power wire in there with a choke you can see that okay got a new um, upgraded negative wire got a upgraded um, cap right here got your variable um, updated with this transistor um, and then took out that variable bias circuit There's really no need for it um, just one more thing to fail and um, I don't like the transistor being over here um, for the variable because when you bend those legs out on the transistor to get it to fit into that jumper spot that JP36 um, you really make them super brittle like actually when I went to go touch that one the legs just just snapped right off um, so you know their legs aren't really meant to spread out like that um, what else did we do so I think that's it but I want to show you something because um, I get a lot of times I'll show power output and guys are um, like uh, say I show it Cobra 29 that does 25 watts and stock final peak and tune aligned and guys are like well uh, 25 watts like you know something's not right that should be doing you know 30 or 35 watts mine does 35 all day long and it's like yeah but uh, have you ever seen it on the scope you know uh, yeah I could get it to do 30 watts I get to do 35 watts I get it to do 40 watts um, and I'm just gonna show that to you right now so here is your radio as you would probably get it you know or, or a lot of guys get them um, wide open so let me show you what it does after I go through with the MOSFET and tune them I'll show you what they do wide open okay and this meter is tight all right, you don't get any tighter than this meter, as you can see from the sticker. Now here's peak. We got peak enabled. Mic gains up. Turn our variable up. Audio dry. One, two, three, four, five. Bye, 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 bye. Audio. This looks like she's sitting at 40, a hair over 40 now. Huh. That's interesting. Let's see what she's doing for average. Oh my, you're doing 12 bird. Let's see, maybe we get a little more out of her even. Wow, you're doing about 13 bird. Not too bad, okay. So, hey, you come over here. And let's see what that looks like on the scope. Oh Lord. That doesn't look too good. Okay. Let's uh let's clean that up a bit. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna put our tone into it. Here's my and I hope this is kind of showing you guys a little something. So I'm just gonna put my mic uh audio jack into it here. And Turn my carrier down a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Put the audio. Turn this down where it cleans up. Okay, about right there. 
I mean, that's that's close. Just just doing this quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Get my mic back in here. Okay, so now I got the mic back in. Now we're gonna go back over to the meter. It looks good on the scope. And now we'll see what it does on here. 50 watt slug. So we're reading that uh, center scale. So hopefully you guys could see that. Now we'll go back into peak. So now it's where it should be. We're gonna look at peak. Audio drive, one, two, three, four, five, 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 audio, one, two, three, four, five. But she still does 35 watts. So I lost about, eh, five, six watts. Oh, radio, one, two, three, four, five, 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 audio, one, two, three, four, five. But yeah, 35 watts, easy. And that is on, you come over here. 14.3 volts. All right. So I figure that's probably what you're going to be running. This ain't no 15 15 volt, you know, baloney. Um, all right. So I just I hope that shows you guys that. Um, yeah. I mean, if you want to do comp style and run it wide open, that's cool. That's cool. We could do that. Um, it's going to do 40, at least 40 PEP, and it's going to do like 13. Um, bird at least and, and then plus if you go up to like 15 volts you're looking at more so yeah but um, I know he wants good audio he wants clarity so we're gonna leave it where it's at I got it I got it tuned clean we're gonna he's still gonna do 35 watts nobody's gonna notice the difference but uh, I know we got some people that really like that watt meter so I just figured I'd do a little show for the watt meter guys um, I do try to help I, I do try to please everyone um, so, yeah, just a little something there to show you guys. All right, I'm going to do the receive. Get this hooked up to the receive here, and uh, we'll be back. All right, we're back. So I got it on the receive. We're just going to show you uh, 12 dB where it's coming in at. And it looks like negative 106. At, oh, no, I'm sorry. We're at 14, almost 15. we got to bump that sucker down. Yes, we do. She's hearing a little bit better than I thought she was hearing, so. Yeah, 109 for a 29. How about that? Zoom in here on that bottom left. 12. And you see where it's coming there. Alright, I want to show you S9. I got that dialed in for you. Of course, it's a digital meter, so it's kind of a little eh. I don't really like the digital faces. But each their own. Let me bring this over here now. Okay. So that's that. I think that's pretty much everything. Um, the only other thing I could maybe show you is on the spectrum analyzer, but it's going to be clean as a stinking whistle because uh, that's how we do it. Oh, I'm got you out of my view here. I'm not in the view. Somebody's gonna say they didn't see something. Okay, so that's going in the back. That goes over. Do 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 over to here. And we will show you this. Get it over to the spectrum. And span is 60. Well, no, let's, yeah, well, all right, we'll just leave it there. Show you the second and the first. So here's my mic. I'm going to make sure I got everything good here. Tighten the mics up, okay. Yeah, it's got like absolutely, when I tuned the second on this, it pretty much disappeared. You can see that there. Oh, light a minute. Last minute. Somebody said I needed to zoom in more on the spectrum. Let me see if. See if that's better for you. So you got a uh, reference of about 37 and about negative nine or so on the second. So you're really good there. And we'll take our center now and we'll dial this span down a little bit. We'll take the span to like five. No. Um, let's do 100 kilohertz. Okay. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Right about there is looking nice. That's my little. S I always get a bump right there. Something something in the shop here causes that. Um, do five megahertz. Oh yeah. Okay, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I mean, there's really not a lot to show with these. They always come out clean. And then 150. Oh, 156, whatever. So I fat fingered it. All right, that's it. Appreciate it. Um, sorry about the wait time. I uh, I started this and then I had emailed you because I wanted to make sure you were good with me doing the work. Because some people, you know, they have a budget. They uh, I find stuff wrong and they might not want to get it fixed. I mean, it's it's uh, more than they want to spend. So. Uh, you know, I gotta respect that, and uh, I just, I, if you're a new customer, I don't know if you are the type that you just, uh, if I find something, just want me to repair it and and truck right along. I got a bunch of guys like that, and then there's guys that, you know, they want me, uh, as soon as I know what's wrong, they want me to call them, and they'll decide whether to pursue it or not. I've had guys just abandon the radio, they say, forget it, it's not worth fixing, keep it, or, um, you know, I'll give them something for it on trade and uh, get them a new radio so um, there's always always options so all right this one's done I'm gonna get a hold of you let you know it uh, everything came out good and you're ready to roll so appreciate everybody since the radio garage we're off the key <laughs>